Hey folks, this is Noble Rambler, and welcome back to another episode of Craft the World. Last episode was kind of fun. Um, we just got back from church, and I was sitting here, kind of getting ready to make that episode, and going through comments and things, and Mrs. Rambler walks in and says, All right, let's do this. Let's do what? You want me to, to record with you? Let's do it. <laughs> like, um... Um, okay, um, well, um, so it was kind of spur of the moment, let's, let's put it that way. So I hadn't taken the time to really do a, a an audio check or, you know, a little test video to see how the sound is going to work. So next time we'll see if we can get the mic more between us and take a different setting. I've got it set right now for a real narrow, um, band right out in front of me so that it just records me and none of the background noises. So that would need to be changed to get two people on the same mic. But while editing last time, there were quite a few little things that I saw that I didn't do that I need to get to. As well, there's quite a few changes I want to make before we continue for too much further forward. Um, one change, let's see, Crazy Craig, that's, I think that's the, uh, the username he goes by, made a great suggestion. He said that since they've got to walk so far to get to these things from the inventory, because they've got to do it every time that they make something. It's got to be traveled back and forth and back and forth. How about getting it right near the inventory? That, that's a good idea. Eventually, we're going to get uh, storage. We're going to get an inventory that we can place wherever we want. So we can put an inventory here. You know, that's further down the, down the food chain there, the tech tree. But for now, I was looking at this. This is from before all of this was built. With the idea that we had just the the wall on each side and if they breached the wall we wanted a good thick barrier between them and us but this doesn't have to be here anymore and that chicken has been driving me nuts <laughs> so <laughs> I think we're going to take the dirt out put another floor in here and make this one and this one more of the manufacturing area all next to the the inventory and maybe another another ladder heading up to make it easy to get in and out if the beds are going up, then we don't necessarily, you know, we, we can reconfigure all of this. So I think that would be a good plan. Another thing that happened, we tore all this apart. We were planning on putting more food on here. We didn't get to it. And I started getting notice, notices that dwarves were starving. So they were down at the very end of their, their uh, food reserve when I popped this. And then when they needed to, to do something about it, there was nothing to do it. So we got to get the food back on there which means that's got to get collected and brought over. Otherwise, we've got to finish this little idea of a balcony out here for our archers to run past and shoot. Boy, it'd be nice to have that hollow, though, so they can shoot through. Hmm. Huh. They can shoot through, I believe, the wood and stone bridges. I wouldn't want them out on this thing right here. We've seen what happens. They kind of plummet once in a while. So eventually this could be a bridge piece here and here so that the archers can shoot through that to the staircase. We'll see. That's got to be finished. What else? Let me look at my list here. Um, I want to fill in this old kitchen area and make that solid. It's work, working well here. They're not going to try to punch through over here because there's just nothing there to punch through too. So we give that kind of sense here. That should... Uh, resolve the issue of them immediately stopping here and just working their way down. I've had that happen before, especially when we get into multiple waves coming in. This guy, you know, 30, 40 cycles later, is going to be popping a portal here and another portal over here and, and another one further down, and pretty soon they're working their way down. They're coming in at you from underneath. They're coming in from above, and it can get pretty exciting. So you want to try to eliminate any other access if you can. Now the idea that I mentioned that if you take this pathway over and pop up at this end and put a little house over here, problem with that, well it works if you get rid of all of these. Otherwise these guys want to go to a door and attack it and you're going to have a building right here with a door. So that idea won't work on this map. Um, over here maybe more so because this is over here. So there's no enemies that necessarily spawn over here. So we could drop a shaft down and go across on this side. But also, remember I made a comment last time when I was sending the uh, the pathway off in this direction, just off into the blackness. 
and I was saying, you know, it's a little risky doing this. You could just be plummeting them to their 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 doom. Well, it turns out we hit this thing just right because right below it was another dungeon of some kind. I got to see what's in there. Also, it turns out that these doors can just open on you even before you get in there. Mrs. Rambler's got a a game going right now, and before she even got down to it, it opened up, and there's all kinds of goblins that have come out. And what looked like maybe old dwarves that have turned into zombies. They've got beards and helmets and, and lots of armor on them. They don't look very friendly. So, yeah, lots of fun comes out of these. And enough so that I'm not really leaving enough space to, to help them out. So... They can climb right up this back wall. That's right. Hmm. Might pop this one out and and stone in a little bit further. Give them a little more space to, to fill out. I don't know if they'll keep moving in and out, if they'll all stack in one space, or if the game will crash because it can't calculate it. So I don't want to risk that. we got a lot of cobwebs over here. Okay, well, let's get this thing going. That's not it. I'm going to always, for the rest of my life, hit spacebar to unpause something. How do I make this go away? I don't. Anyway, peep. There we go. Food. There we go. Let's get these guys into... Let's see. That didn't do it. Into... Control. Why is it not working? Ah, I was hitting the right click instead of the left click. Okay. That's what we need, and it was control E. Tell everybody to go eat. And we need to get this to picked up, and I want to fill this in. So I'm gonna drop a portal down here just to make this a little bit faster. Let's do that, and let's dirt in those. I'm gonna just work our way through this. Remove that torch, and ooh, got ourselves a little bit. Actually, we'll leave one spider. Let's get rid of these guys. And uh, Crazy Craig had, had, had given the suggestion of, of farming the spiders to get the webs, as well as farming what I was starting to do over here. Well, I was kind of doing it there, right here. Actually, down here is what I was thinking of it, to farm uh, leaves. How are we doing over here? We are attacking the one. The other one's going to come and fight us, too, so we're probably going to lose him as well. They will fight back. They do not like being attacked. They are aggressive. Okay. Now, if we don't... No, oh, he he drew first blood. We're going after him. Okay, never mind. <laughs> Ooh, that was quite a uh, quite an arch to that, uh, that uh, arc to that that arrow. Watch that. Whew. Yep. Anyway, um, got that. And we are taking full advantage of this portal, that's for sure. Let's do that again. That didn't work. There we go. Yeah, they're just they're bringing... That's what we mean by getting the uh, uh, the manufacturing up here. This stuff's just been stacked and waiting to be brought in, and now it's the closest path and we're doing it. Okay, dirt here. Did we eat? Well, we cleared out half of that mess. Good. Let's fill this in. Give me two people walking this way with dirt. And then I'll put two more in. Little by little, we'll fill this in and we'll move on to the next project. Here's a dirt. One more. There's a dirt right there. Did you come through? You did. Give me one there. Okay, little by little, fill that in. So, old kitchen's being filled in. We want to progress through here. Let's get this going. Replace coal. And, yeah, we'll just do it this way. Good way to get rid of the old dirt. There we go. And over here, going to have to get a little bit higher to get into there. This is where the uh, scaffolding would make it much easier. But this is only sand and dirt. Enemies that, you know, if a portal lands over here, they're going to punch down through this so easy. That they're definitely going to go for it. So I do want to fill these back in again with gonna make it hard to how do we do this we fill it in from up above we could make a nice fishing spot right here 
Huh, take the sand? We want to harvest the sand anyway. Hmm. Well, let's get these taken care of while we're thinking about it. Replace. Roots must be in behind. Um, here, yep, you gotta do that. And fill this one in. Grab those. Okay, the disadvantage of replacing instead of digging is that if you dig it, they just come right over here and get the whole thing done. Now we've got to make a trip back and forth to do it. So that is going to take longer to accomplish it. But I have reasons. <laughs> they'll, they'll be fine. All right, 77 left over there of mana. We've got these guys coming to visit, and we are open up here, so we do have to get this done. Let's clear these out. And what? This was a mistake. These we ought to come out. Or they've got to move. First of all, this is the wood layer, so it's not supposed to be a, a ladder there. Plus, space, bed, space. The ladder could be there, bed, space. So it does work right up the center. It's five. So that would look better, and I think it would uh, be more efficient. So I'm going to go with that. Also, as Mrs. Rambler pointed out to me yesterday... Hello. We got in, didn't we? Um... We don't have to have this bottom ladder. They just hop up and grab it and go. So it doesn't have to hit the floor and it saves the materials and, and lets you build something right there too, if you need to. But let's go ahead and clear these out. And you can shoot right through. And we're basically done. Okay. All right. We're gonna clear that out. Let's get this built. This comes. Well, let's leave that for a moment until somebody takes this out. Can't quite get that, huh? Okay, that's fine. Actually, um, select dwarf and control. So, no, let's just do this. There, pop that one. Perfect, and release. Mission accomplished. And you want to collect that leaf. Okay, good. Now, let's put in a stone there build a wood there and there and ladder there take these ladders out and the pattern over here build stone build stone we need we need lots of wood all right let's get out to these new forests pop you into there We'll take that one. We'll take this out. We need to take the stone out too, so the rain will, will collect in there. You can go out. The pine tree is full grown. Grab the bushes and grab the the roots, which I believe are used for. Actually, there was stone back there. Replace stone. Um, used for a tea. So, and that tea is like giving them caffeine, giving them a double shot mocha. So, replace stone in the background so that they get their stuff done much faster. So I was informed that I want to be collecting as much water as I can as often as I can because you'll go through it really fast later. Just like getting all that wood early on in the game. I was making a point of always going out and chopping wood because we're going to need so much of it later. And it turned out to be the case. Well, he is hopping after him. <laughs> A lot of times these will just kind of uh, uh, die off if there's no one to attack real quick. But that one was quite persistent. Let's take that one out. And what else over here? Grab that one. And add one more portal in this area. Under attack is another... Oh, this guy. Okay. So yeah, I think we will actually... We can climb through these. Let's use this as kind of a... In fact, we can even do this as well as a uh, grass farm a uh, grass farm uh, leaf farm that's what I'm trying to say let's take this out that and that and fill this back in and fill this back in yeah so they'll come down here they'll use the ladder to get back up uh, we don't need that one so that can come out uh, leaves will form in here Spiders might farm in here. We will farm this area. That whatever it takes, whatever is needed to grow in shadows, is kind of what I'm saying. Let's do this. 
Replace roots. Alright, and one more portal to make sure this all gets done. And let's replace that sand. That one too. Alright, we'll come back and... In fact, we can fill that in then. Yeah, if we're going to do it that way. Let's put stone in there. Uh, replace front and replace front and do that. That makes it feel a little better to me that there's more of a solid side to that. Alright, so that cleans it up pretty good. Now, and they'll go off and do that. Um, let's get this set. Still want... What do I do here? I'm using dirt as a filler for the background. And then, actually, let's go one more. And later there's going to be pillars. I was thinking that doesn't look all that great, but later we get into oh some kind of advanced stone construction. Basic stone construction. Right there, a stone column. Let's be able to take this. Is there a wood column? Okay, this is basic stone. Advanced construction. Wooden bridges. Oh, we've already got them. Frogalisk House. Okay, that's entirely new to me. I don't know what that is. That's the trap. Look out the round window now. Good. And an owl cat house. Are these the pets? These might be the pets. Let's let's take a look at this. A frogalisk is. This house allows you to train a pet that will help the dwarves defend their home. Ooh. And the owl cat. Allows you to train a pet that helps the dwarves to defend their home. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, I'm not sure how that works. We could build the house and see if something just shows up. We could. Now, does that... Okay, so that takes out the rats, I am guessing. Maybe even the spiders. But does it still allow them to form in order to get the loot from the rat's nest? Let's find out. Do we have the materials? I think we do. Yeah, we should have enough. Just do one at first. And I see you've still got to build you. And I'm going to forget all about you. Let's drop this into there. Hopefully when it builds, I'll remember it. I uh, could use some more of these. All right. Um, the three tables, I can set those out. We'll get more food variety soon if we don't even already. We do because we have fishing available. All right, so we need to go fishing, which means we need a fishing pole. That would be here, right there. Let's get that one going as well. There's our hook. There's our line. And here's our rod. And make one, two of those. Then what? Oil is the glass jar which is glass and coal, which we are never going to have enough of. Let's max that out. Need to make more glass. Again, coal is the limiter. And then when that's made, we will set up this. This one is earth and water makes clay, and clay will be used to make a lot of other things. Let's get a bunch of that going. This is going to really increase our, our uh, uh, point system over here to get to level 11. Probably before we even get a chance to use up all this mana. Huh. It's always a risk later in the game. Do you get it all used up now so you don't waste it? And then find out that you didn't quite have enough and you really needed it. And Dwarf over here is, is being attacked and you can't get him home. So, yeah. Water is over here and dirt over there. 58 of them. Let's make, oh, 20-something. Those are instant... That one is now satisfied. Tech tree just did that. Moving on into here, all the basic lighting or advanced lighting. Okay. Um, so that's that one. I do want to get into there's fishing, and the float will help them swim, and the bucket of worms will increase their fishing skills. To get into farming, so we can get a couple of sheep here inside and a couple of chickens inside, and they'll multiply in a in a pasture inside. As well, you can set up a, a grain farm and use the grain to... where does that pop in? Right here. Make breads and pies and buns and... Mm, mm, mm. So, yeah, it just keeps going. That's, 
as far as I've shown you so far, that's just halfway. This game goes for a long time. They've spent a lot of time creating this game. Really, even since I've played it, they've added so much more. What the heck's an owl cat? So, turn that off, and... I feel like I was heading somewhere else when I thought about clay. I think I just happened to be on the same screen, right? Anything new will pop in. Here's a wooden chest for comfort. Let's talk about that real quick while they're busy doing the different things that I've already assigned them to. Um, let's make a lock. And, no, let's make a lock. There we go. So, three of these. Let's make two of them. And that's instantaneous. Let's see if the chest is. Is that here? That's here. Alright, lock. And then three logs. I don't know if I have to construct this or not. Nope, it's right there. Let's put this... They've already built the owl house. No, they haven't. That's just saying that there's... Okay. Um, you, we'll put you right there. And we got 27 of those. One of those... Yeah, I'll leave that there. We're going to move one of these hatches. Okay, so chest. He has a comfort average of 36%. The more you add to the place, the more comfortable it becomes. He's just not happy because we're not only no comfort, but we're open and exposed. So this isn't even a home right now, which means whoever has these beds can't sleep in them. That's an issue. That's an issue that we need to solve right now. Let's remove ladder. Uh, ten minutes to the next attack. We'll put a hatch right there. That will seal up this area. Let's remove him. Let's take out the chicken. And we'll put him here for now and get the beds Hmm. Temporarily. We'll just have to make this work. Beds temporarily could go in here. You know, that's true. Let's remove these. And let's remove these. Let's reposition them up in here. And let's remove bed. Let's put more food out while I'm thinking of it. Okay, let's put these tables out while I'm thinking of it. Okay, that will do for now. So the chest, I would normally put right here just because it looks right. But you can see or what we saw, it added two to the uh, comfort. So you'll add pictures and, and lamps and, and uh, uh, windows and chairs, all kinds of things in here. Uh, armoires, chests of drawers things that make it look more like home and that comfort level goes up. So I'm guessing that other things go up when this gets closer to 100%. I'd have to assume that they do their work faster, better, they sleep quicker. There's got to be other other things that happen as a result of that. There's got to be some incentive to doing that. This did get done. Let's, before it goes away, put you in there, you in there. And three, one, two, let's go two more there. Actually, the one more there, and we'll go one above it. All right, so that's there. He's here. Okay. So how do we do out here? And everybody's in? Everybody's in, though he is doing that. Okay. Let's take him out. Oh, missed. Come on, Liv. <laughs> Yeah, this guy as well. You want to shoot from an a... Yep, everyone's following everybody. Uh-huh. Let's take you out as well. All right, that'll be done. Um, we want to take all of this out. And let's set up more beds in here right now. I want to think about it. Craft beds here, here, there. You go down where the tables were. And these four beds, let's get set up. That already is one there, right? I think it is. There, there, there. More? Yeah, one more. There's six, there's ten? Eleven? Something like that. Can I, though it would look funny, where's our... Right there. I'm looking to see where our house officially is right now. You're going to get stuck up there, aren't you? Let's, let me deal with, with this first. I'm going to put a four in here. We're being attacked somewhere. Up here. Nope, nope, nope. Stop that. 
stop that. Click on the right thingy. Alright, that should be enough. Wish I could get in and click on others. It's hard to... When they're all in the same cell, I can't choose anything. Oh, the one just stopped moving. Okay. What? Huh? What? Who? Huh? Uh-uh. Oh, they're coming in, too. We can seal this up, but they're just going to walk right through here. So, let's horn you guys to here. Everybody inside. No, 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 no. The horn. The horn. Get in there. You're going to ignore it, aren't you? See, they can, they ignore the doors. That's one thing that's very frustrating about the goblins, is they just let themselves in. Maybe they're considered more intelligent than the other ones. Did we get the door in? We didn't. We don't officially have a home anymore, do we? But who's about to die on me? And I never bought more health elixirs. So one and a quarter. Okay. I was going to buy more before the next battle. One and a quarter. Alright, we'll go with that. Oops. Alright, let me think about this. Um, if I were to do this, what would happen? Back inside. Yep, let's equip. Look through this real quick. Make sure that nobody is in really bad shape. There's at least one of them like that. Anybody below one? We didn't get a warning, so nobody is below one. Okay, I'm gonna wait. Let's do this again. They're dropping down below. We're down to one left in here. Now we've got a couple left in there. Hearts are okay. I think we made it. I think we did. Still under attack? No, old message. So we still have one, two left. What I'm curious about is if these guys will spawn. If more goblins will keep coming out over time. I've always wondered that, but I've never stayed long enough to find out. Let's use you. What happens here? They obeyed it last time. Low health. Why? Because you fell, huh? Okay. Are you you are going to stop. Let's control R. Get those that are in trouble to go to bed. Okay. Oh, I just saw an archery book. Aha. We have an official archer's book. These two are going to come in. We'll see how persistent they are. If they're going to keep going or if they're going to eventually... I can't get through because we're afraid of a spider. And low health. You guys are falling. Okay. And let's control R for rest one more time. Oh, we've got a, uh, a uh, an emergency over here. Anyway, these did come in. And they are going to work their way through, steal a couple of eggs, and be on their way, right? Got to get this guy set right there. So what's going to happen here? We're going to walk in here. We're going to take... We assume something. You're just in the wrong place at the wrong time, aren't you? All right, let's take him out. Another ladder would be a good idea, huh? Some kind of, a, of an escape path. Well, that one's not Liv. Who is that? That is, oh, that is Liv. So Liv's got reddish brown hair. I thought she had black hair. So Helene, I think, is the other archer. And this one kind of forgot where he was. There we go. Oh, maybe that was his way of fleeing. Okay. Anyway, I was working on this when I was so rudely interrupted. I want a bigger floor here because some of the manufacturing is quite tall. But I don't want to disturb this totem just yet because they won't be able to sleep when it's gone. Let's get one in here as well. Build wall. All right. With that, we will get our manufacturing going again. All 
Then what? <clears throat> Got all that going on. Let's see if anything else ever spawns there. We we'll try to resist getting into that area. All right, you go away and put you there. I guess I could have done that. It, it was on the, the back plane. Yeah, I could have done that. It's the front one that you don't want to drop the corner in first because they won't be able to diagonal through another obstacle. All right, so with that, we're going to start building the wall that we can walk over there. And oh, you're going to climb down successfully. Good. Why, who are you attacking? Well, we'll take out the chicken. Now, we did get the door in here. Let's take that out. Let's replace this with stone. And let's put a stone here. And do we have craft? We don't. Build me one more lock. Build me two more locks. There we go. Me a door. This one. <clears throat> Oh, I didn't need to do that. Oh, well. Did it. Two doors in inventory. Hurry right, back up. Craft. That door goes... Hmm. I'm going to use all of these soon. We'll put it there for now. I'm curious. First of all, we'll do that. If and when they do break the way through here, if they will uh, um, stay. Or if they're going to immediately start banging their way out like the larvae do. Start digging their way through. But that's more long-term, not too critical. So what next? There's all of our glass jars. So this is being built, kind of. Probably can't get to this, can we? I don't know. Let's do this to get by. Let's see if that works. I think they need to stand. They can't reach this from the ground. I can't do it by taking control of them unless they happen to be carrying the object. But from that ladder, they may be able to diagonal through. Okay. Um, next. Next, next, next. We have a door missing. We do. Okay. Uh, this one can go there. Eventually that'll get picked up. This one is fine. Let's use and let's use. And I want to put these guys in. And put another floor in here. And then another background for a stone. In fact, we can do a couple of those. And let's extend this ladder on up so we can get access to these other things. This will be wood here. And we're already low on wood again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's do another one of 52 seconds. Whoa. Okay. In that case, let's save that battle for next time. I'm already quite long on this episode. So that's what is up here. It's hard to get out and get anything seriously accomplished. Hello. Because <laughs> there's just so much to do at one time. It really is. Um, so I think next episode we'll get Mrs. Rambler back on and get her closer to the mic and, and maybe see if I can get the, the mouse into her hand for part of it. We'll see. That's going to... Oh. There we go. It was our first ant invasion. We'll deal with that someday, too. And there's a mouse. There's a mouse invasion. There's so much going on simultaneously. You never get bored in this game. Anyway, this has been Noble Rambler. Thanks, guys, for watching, and I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.